All right, quiz eight, solutions to math 111. Um, we're given this mess and asked to express it as a complex number. Um, all right, so first of all, maybe we should get rid of these square roots of negatives. We can rewrite this thing as the square root of negative four is two i, and the square root of negative 16 is four i. Um, and the reason why is the square root of negative four is the same as the square root of negative one times the square root of four. And the square root of negative one is this thing we define to be i. The square root of four is two. Um, so you get this. I'm used to having the real part first and the complex part second, so you might want to rewrite that in this one. Um, and then we want to multiply the top and bottom by the conjugate of the bottom. So in this case, instead of negative four plus four i, We'll do negative 4 minus 4i. Four Something like that. Um, and then we can multiply across. So on the bottom here, negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16. The inner and the outer terms will cancel out when we FOIL. And we'll get minus 16i squared. And then on the top here, 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. 2 times negative 4i is negative 8 i, 2i times negative 4 is negative 8i, and 2i times negative 4i is negative 8i squared. So we end up with negative 8 minus 16i plus 8 divided by 16 plus 16. 8i squared, negative 8i squared is the same as positive 8, and negative 16i squared is the same as positive 16. Um, and the negative 8 and the positive 8 cancel out, so you get negative 16i divided by 32, which is just negative 1 half i is our final answer. Um, all right, I guess that's it. And then the second one, find all complex roots of this mess. Look at it for a little while. I kind of hope it factors. I think it won't. So let's see, possible roots, we well, get plus or minus 1, plus or minus 11, plus or minus 1 half, plus or minus 11 halves. Just start trying them. f of 1, that's not going to be 0 because all these things are positive. Maybe f of negative 1 will work. Let's see, this would be negative 2, and this would be plus 6, and this would be minus 15, and this would be plus 11. And what do we get? 17 and negative 17. Sure enough, that's 0. So negative 1 is a root, so x plus 1 is a factor. So we can do some polynomial long division here to get rid of the 2x cubed. We need 2x squared. That gives us 2x cubed plus 2x squared. And subtract. To get rid of the 4x squared, we need a 4x. That gives us 4x squared and 4x. Kind of nice how I made this work out with no negative numbers. So nice like that. Um, to get rid of the 11x, we need an 11 up here, and that gives us 11x plus 11. No remainder, good, we did things right. So what that means is that f of x is really x plus 1 times 2x squared plus 4x plus 11. And so to find all the roots, we say either x plus 1 equals 0, so x equals negative 1, or 2x squared plus 4x plus 11 equals 0. Divide both sides by 2. Complete the square. Um, See, we got x plus 1 squared, negative 1 is negative 2 halves, plus 11 halves is 9 halves. Um, all right, so subtract 9 halves from both sides, and you get x plus 1 squared equals negative 9 halves. So x well x plus 1 equals plus or minus the square root of negative 9 halves 
So we got x equals negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 9 halves i. Um, do I care if you rationalize the denominator? I don't. Maybe I'll say this is the answer. Or another possible answer is if you really wanted to rationalize the denominator, well, okay. Uh, another way to write this is x equals negative 1 plus or minus. Um, square root of 9 is just 3. If you multiply the top and the bottom by 2, you get 3 root 2 over 2 i. Uh, I don't really care which of these you get me. Either one's totally fine for the roots. So maybe put a box around these guys. And don't forget we still have this root over here. So all real and complex roots are those guys. And then completely factor this thing. Well, once you know the roots, all you got to do is do x minus each of those roots. So x minus negative 1, which is x plus 1. x minus negative 1 plus the square root of 9 halves i. And x minus negative 1 minus the square root of 9 halves Um, lots of other ways you could write this, but something, maybe I'll write or an equivalent form. So we have our third degree polynomial as a product of three linear terms, and we are all done.